Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solutions Specialist for Avid. With S6 version 2.0 software, a tension track function spill was added to give the S6 user the center section functionality like what is available on S5 consoles and icon surfaces. This video will go over how to set up this new feature and its functionality. On Avid S5 consoles and icon surfaces, there are dedicated center sections that allow the mixer to have persistent control over EQ and dynamics. With version 2.0, S6 users now have the ability to set one or two knob modules, only one for M10 systems, to spill a predetermined set of functions onto those modules. This gives the user the same functionality of those dedicated center sections, but with much more flexibility. Not only are you able to spill EQ or dynamics, but any process on a channel can be recalled here for quick access to all the attributes of an attention track. The first thing we want to do is go over how to set up this feature on the surface. There are two different ways to do this. The first way is to manually select what knob modules are used for this mode. To do this, go into the surface settings mode on the master module, then press config at the bottom of the screen. Select Expand from the choices at the bottom. Next, all available knob modules will light up. Touch a knob on the first knob module you want to use. A purple triangle with the number 1 will be displayed on the selected module on screen. If you select the wrong module, press Undo. If you want to clear all previous selections, press Clear. If you want to exit the Expand configuration without changing the current surface arrangement, press Cancel. If this is an M10 system or you want to only use one module, press Done to accept the arrangement. If you are on an M40 system and want to assign a second module, touch a knob on the second knob module you want to assign. A purple triangle with the number 2 will be displayed on the newly selected module on screen. Press Done to accept the new arrangement. Setting up the zones this way allows you to freely place the zones anywhere on the surface that you choose. Another way to set up the expand zones is to choose the layout with the surface configurator. First, go into the surface settings mode on the master module and press config at the bottom of the screen. Then select surface from the choices at the bottom. This will take you into the basic surface configuration screen. Start the process as you normally would by selecting the surface frame size, depth, and width and press next. On the next page, the normal module configuration choices are at the top of the screen. Swipe to the left on the modules to reveal new configuration choices for the expand zones. Choose the configuration that you would like to use and drag it down to the frame. There are configurations that allow you to use a single knob module alone in a frame chassis, two knob modules alone, a single knob module with a fader module, and two knob modules with a fader module. Press Next and touch the modules to assign them to the configuration. Press Next to continue to the end and press Done. Configuring the zones this way allows you to have custom configurations that do not use a process module in the frame chassis. Once you have the zone locations defined, you now need to set the preferences on what function is initially spilled into the zone when attentioning the track. To do this, go to the Home screen on the Master Module and press the gear icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. Here you can set preferences for defining the function that is spilled in a backup function in case the initial function is not available on that track. If you have two knob modules defined, each one can have its own set of preferences. For our example, we're going to select EQ for the first module and inserts as the backup. As we have two knob modules defined, we're going to select Dynamics for the second module and Sends as the backup. Setting up our preferences this way will give us EQ and Dynamics in the two zones if those plugins are available on the Attention Track and is the same type of functionality that S5 and Icon users are used to. But by having the backup choices defined, we can easily get to an expanded view of any other plugin type if EQ is not available and to see all 10 sends of a channel if Dynamics is not available. This is just one of the many different combinations that can be set as any function can be defined for either zone as to allow the user to set up the surface in a way that works best for them. Having the preferences allow for quick access to functions that are used most. But there will be times that you will want to override these defaults and manually set a different function to a zone. 
To manually attention a function to an expand zone, first make sure that the home page is visible on the master module. Then, touch any control in the center of the touch screen of the function that you want to place in the expand zone. Then, just touch a knob on the module of the zone that you want to attention to. The new function is now placed in that zone. Reattentioning the track will place the defaults back into the zones. On S5 and Icon, having the dedicated center section controls for EQ and Dynamics help speed up the mixing process in certain workflows. By adding the attention track function spill, S6 now has the same type of functionality but on a whole other level. Not only from defining what modules you expand to and where they're located at on the surface, but going beyond accessing just EQ and Dynamics to any function on a track. S6 continues to expand your creative choices. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.